Hello my lovely students my lovely atoms hope you all are doing fine my name is Anupa Kaur your chemistry master teacher your AG ma'am and i don't know like happy happy vibes or happy with a bit sad vibe that sprint expert chemistry is going to end with this lecture that is organic chemistry session number 2 but i don't think that's a something that can make you sad because you can revise now any time with the entire sprint text series of chemistry so as with the other sessions so as with the other subjects and i hope you will follow this because this will ultimately going to help you in your exam to score better to boost your score and to come up with so many uh, revision questions and uh, that will definitely help you for sure so shall we start with this video organic chemistry session number 2 i will definitely let you know that what are we going to discuss today but i am very much hopeful that you have seen session number 1 of organic chemistry that was very important too this chapter as a whole is very important not for only 10th class but for your higher classes you will feel that how you are a bit ahead in terms of ics i mean cbsc students because most of the topics you already know and can understand better so it's like this is more of like an advantage yeah students so if we talk about these topics this we discussed in the last session we talked about vital force theory we talked about uh, organic compounds and its classification we did nomenclature and we did talk about in detail about isomerism too so what are we going to discuss today we'll talk about hydrocarbons in details today that means alkanes alkenes and alkynes their preparation method their reactions whatever is there that is according to your reduced syllabus because ultimately whatever the question that can come into exams i am going to give you that idea so that you can do better okay so please follow it stay till the end this is definitely going to help you yeah so give me a quick thumbs up do that right away and i hope you know the entire schedule as uh, session started from 9th feb and almost till 27th feb all the sessions for chemistry was done hope you had seen each and every lecture if not you can always see on 9th and 10th english channel playlist you'll get the entire uh, session list same for ambika ma'am she teaches you biology i think you know it well and uh, ma'am session is also going to end 27th feb i hope you had seen all the videos a new sir with physics and the sir session is ending at 26th lucky and then maths by our gopal sir session is going to end on 26th again lucky sst ankana ma'am from 8th feb till 27th feb ma'am is taking sessions and english my shweta ma'am your shweta ma'am like my shweta ma'am like too much don't take it in any other way our shweta ma'am from 8th feb to 27th feb so in a way i can say that sprint session are going to end on this 27th feb and i hope you have already set all the reminders to follow it properly with each and every chapter whenever you are revising you can always follow sprint text again for your revision purpose for practice purpose because these are some important questions yup students okay so don't forget to like the video please appreciate all our efforts don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and stay subscribed and don't forget to like the video as well yup students so shall we start with the very first question but what about appreciating you at the same moment because you also appreciate us a lot here are some of the comments which we got from you guys we saw ravi's message eagerly waiting for the session that's what keeps us motivated that you are like yeah you wanted these sessions you wait uh, you know too much for all these sessions to come and you follow it properly so a thank you note from my side nishu explain the homework properly so as dhe we had bhargavi session was fabulous thank you bachche aditi uh, sorry not aditi adi best teacher uh, but now because of this thank you adi that means a lot hey naman paramjot <laughs> physics video also you wanted yeah param jog please follow all the videos are there aditya great job so thank you so much here are all the class for you people as well at the same time for participating for following all the videos and doing your efforts to do good in your exams and let's start with this positive quote which says confidence and hard work is the best medicine to kill the disease called failure that's so true don't just get scared that what if you will fail 
no if you will be having enough confidence in yourself you know one of my student called me today only and telling that ma'am i'm not feeling so much confident i'm feeling that if i do this thing and i ultimate and i ultimately ended up by doing it wrong and i don't get certain things and my confidence is shattered so i told all the proper techniques that she can follow that hard work is definitely a key and if you itself will be in that low confidence that won't work ultimately you ended up your mind will give you that signal only and uh, it won't be right it will definitely give your performance a you know downfall that obviously you don't want so my students even if you think that okay this is not happening in the same way that you wanted just tell this to yourself and your brain tell this to your mind that i am confident enough i can definitely achieve that i'll stay positive and i'll do enough hard work to achieve this and i'll see how that will not happen it's not possible okay it will definitely uh, can be done if you have that courage if you have that confidence that will definitely make you a successful person and you will be one day you will become one day and please that day just come back to this video and let me know i would love to see your comments you know 10 years you're after 10 years and then you're like okay let's just visit this page and let ma'am know where i am today not 10 years 15 whatsoever take your time here yeah, students okay let's start with the very first question and what is that a hydrocarbon of the general formula as you know we are totally discussing about hydrocarbons today when i talk about three hydrocarbons that we need to know in detail are these with having a difference in their formula of two hydrogen so these are the three formula cnh2n plus 2 cnh2n cnh2n minus 2 this is my alkene alkene is having carbon carbon single bond if you remove two hydrogen from it suppose you remove two hydrogen then only you can develop a double bond so that carbon will always make four bond so removing two hydrogen you will get a double bond that is alkene and again removing two more hydrogen will give you a tendency to make one more bond that is triple bond and that will be alkyne with carbon carbon triple bond so that's how cnh2n plus 2 is alkene cnh2n is alkene cnh2n minus 2 is alkyne simple now the question is we need to check cnh2n is what this is very very easy you just see that where the number of carbon whatever it will be hydrogen is double and this is more of like maths you can see that in option number do let me know a definitely c15 h30 and do let me know in the comment section what you can call it c15 h30 what you can call it yep e that i know but what will be the full name i know that you know it why are you are why you are hesitating to tell me not at all tell me <laughs> or don't say google baba <laughs> nam google baba okay obviously you can take a reference but ultimately the topic must be clear let's have one more question that is again for one mark and that is what are the sources for alkynes give the general formula of alkynes i think this part we are already clear with alkyne sources so just remember that hydrocarbons from where we get hydrocarbons mainly are natural gas and these are petroleum products only okay so when we see petroleum that itself is a mixture of so many hydrocarbons and natural gas is also that we get above petroleum if you remember so these are the sources of so many hydrocarbons alkene alkenes as well as alkynes so this is pretty easy general formula of alkyne we already did that cnh2n minus 2 but do remember that n will not start from 1 and will start from 2 3 and so on because if you put n value 1 this is c1 h will be 2 into 1 2 minus 2 0 only one carbon how it's making four bond tetravalency not satisfied this is not even a hydrocarbon because hydrogen is not there so this can't be an alkyne at all so the very first member of alkyne family is with n value 2 that is c2h2 that is my ethyne eth for two carbon ine for a triple bond so in one minute definitely you can answer that if your concepts are clear I am pretty sure you will plan it in a proper way so that time management you can do because time management is very necessary. That I had also faced so many times in my time that I couldn't manage time properly, and even I knew some of the answer I couldn't, you know, complete the paper. So please, this strategy is also very much important that you won't put so much 
efforts and time on a question that uh, didn't need the same okay so just plan it do sample papers do enough sample papers to manage your exam manage your paper properly that how much question need how much time and if you get stuck don't be just stuck at that and thinking thinking keep on thinking just move to those questions that you think that you know better then ultimately your confidence will be back and at the last you can solve some you will get some or the other right yeah don't worry yeah okay let's move to next question now question number 3 give the name and formula of the fourth member of the following that is uh, from the following homologous series alkyne i already told you the very first member is ethyne so what will be the uh, fourth member ethyne then comes to propyne then comes to butyne that comes to pentyne so please do remember that if you said butyne then it will be wrong pentyne is the fourth member yeah you got this because that starts from c value 2 okay so fourth member will be with the one extra carbon that is c5 yeah next is alcohol with the fourth member alcohol general formula i told you in the last video that is roh where r stands for my alkyl group that cnh2 and plus 1 just replace n value with 4 by 4 because functional group is not having any other carbon so this is the only source for get four carbon so fourth member means four carbon in general and the formula will be c4 H eight plus one nine O H. This is my uh, fourth member of the homologous series of alcohol, and the name will be butanol. Butane, but for four carbon, ane for a single bond. All because a hydrogen was substituted here with O H, so that ends with all. Okay, so butanol. Simple, easy peasy. What say? I hope you're getting the same answer. I hope you're having a notebook and pen, and you're doing it with me because that's how you can revise each and every chapter, and you'll get an idea where you are getting stuck. So you can revise those topic and can make your performance a bit better. Yeah. Next question for two marks, and you have to complete in two minutes. Just focus on the concept. You'll be definitely able to do the same. give the condition and the main product formed by the hydrogenation of ethylene now first of all don't get confused with ethylene that's a common name that's not a scientific name and ethylene is a gas which gas ethene gas ethene is the iupac name and ethylene is my uh, common name and uh, you can write it down two carbon is eth and ene means that's having a double bond so this is my ethene or ethylene hydrogenation means we are going to add hydrogen gas why add because they will show uh, addition reaction hydrogenation itself means hydrogen addition so we are going to add hydrogen but hydrogen is a gas not going to add up easily we need a catalyst you can take nickel platinum palladium these are something that belongs to the same group so same kind of a property they'll provide their surface so that hydrogen gas can stick over it adsorption surface phenomena and can be given to my ethene whenever required and can be added to the same at a particular temperature around 200 250 degree celsius okay so it will be like this one hydrogen will attack here one will here so that one double bond uh, is going to that double bond is going to break and uh, two site will be there at both the carbon so that two hydrogen can attack can add so c c h h h h this was the arrangement before this bond got broken these two hydrogen will attack here i'm just mentioning it in this way so your ethene converted to ethane single bond by the addition of hydrogen hydrogenation do remember you need temperature condition you need a catalyst for the same that helps us to make the reaction faster by providing its surface to the hydrogen gas that's it see so please do remember that and everything is written here you can always download the file can access it any time and can revise any time anywhere here yep. okay there's one more question that is question number 5 but this is for 3 marks that means try to complete it in 3 minutes Three and a half maximum, not like five six minutes. What are hydrocarbons compared saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons? Oh, that's easy peasy. Hydrocarbons are nothing. You know that definition of organic compounds by chain. That's mainly hydrocarbon is derivative. So what's hydrocarbon? The compounds, the organic compounds that is made up of 
carbon and hydrogen. Those are hydrocarbons and they come with a different, different variety. We have aliphatic hydrocarbons. We have uh, cyclic hydrocarbons. We have alicyclic hydrocarbons. There's a variety. And in aliphatic, we have this uh, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated hydrocarbon is my alkane. Alkane is another name because they are saturated. Addition is not possible. Unsaturated means addition is possible. They are unsaturated addition. They can still be saturated by addition of certain substances. And that came with alkene and alkyne. Okay. So they are telling you have to compare between saturated and unsaturated. First thing you can always tell that my saturated hydrocarbons are alkanes with carbon-carbon single bond. My unsaturated hydrocarbons are my alkenes and alkynes with carbon-carbon double and triple bond. Second, here addition is not possible. Why? Because carbon's valency is already completed by making the four bond with carbon and other hydrogen atom. But here addition is possible because double bond and triple bond can be broken down and a certain substance can be added because here carbon is going to make the bond with three or two atoms only and carbon can make bond with four atoms so there is still possibility addition is possible and when i talk about one more point about my saturated one that these are least reactive saturated hydrocarbons are least reactive as they are saturated and no more uh, you know addition no more reactivity is there for them but here they are quite reactive they are quite reactive how come because your carbon carbon double bond and triple bond is something that double and triple bond is formed into the space and your substances can come and attack and disrupt that and can add into the same. So they are quite reactive. You can also say saturated hydrocarbon generally shows my substitution reaction. Hydrogen can be replaced by atom or a group of atom. Unsaturated are the one they generally, generally don't show substitution. They mainly show addition. So these are some of the points. If you write three points, if you gave one one example, this will be sufficient to get you full marks that is obviously three marks okay and all the points are written here also as i said you can revise it any times as you want yeah now let's move ahead with the next question but 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 what is needed to know about this platform called as vedantu because we are not only on youtube we have our own platform called as wave platform from so many years and uh, now it's getting better and better each and every day you'll you'll feel so much excited and energetic and very happy while studying also it will be so much fun with all the features we are coming up very soon and right now why that is important because Enrolling for Vedantu will not only uh, just give you the classes, but live classes, live interaction with the teachers with fun level quizzes. In each and every session with the topic clearance, we'll make sure that you get it with the help of conducting the quizzes of the topic. And when we get your responses, we'll get an idea how much active you were, how much answer you are getting it correct, and we can revise the topic accordingly. And not only the teachers, there will be a team of class teachers, the subject matter expert to solve your doubt instantly in the chat section. And we can, you know, see them as well and your doubts can get solved. You'll be having uh, students throughout the world. You can learn great things. Your personality will be enhanced. The best part is in the replay mode also, you can have all those interactive sessions. Isn't it so much fun? When you say replay, won't be like bore okay ma'am yeah who will sit for one hour and see the replay you'll be able to participate in the quiz and you'll get such a live experience that you had in a live class but it will give you the same feature and uh, you'll see your name in the leaderboard the way you'll perform you'll be able to download each and every content of each and every class with our own feedback that this is important you can do all the smart work as well side by side and as i said all your doubts will be solved. You will get enough assignments for uh, the topic so that you will come up with so much kind of a revision, so much kind of a practice. No question will be hard for you. And you're like, no question like other students is like out of syllabus or something like this because that was never the case. 
you will get different different chapter based courses the best part right now is there are so many crash courses teachers are taking for your quick revision to make sure your exams that is going to conduct very soon you will pass with flying colors and 90% target won't be difficult for you right now also with the chapter based and crash courses you can enhance your score you can make sure that your revision is up to the par in a very less price you're getting more and more and more at vedantu because there is a limited time offer students we really wanted to be with you so we have launched a special offer called as we are with you till the end and for the same you can have 50% discount right now for a very limited time up to 1500 so the same course that was for 2699 let me tell you in how much you can get it if you apply this code age pro AGE Pro code will give you the same course in thirteen forty nine point five rupees. I think almost not even equal to your school fees. What say students having a session is as low as six point seven rupees. How you'll avail the same? There is a link in the description box. The same link was pinned by Vedantu nineteen channel. Pin means the very first message you will see in the chat section was uh, that only, and this comment section. just go for those pro classes select icsc as your target 10th class in 2021 and the one month course will be as low as 6.7 rupees per session only if you apply teacher code that is ag ag ma'am e english channel pro pro is the course so that you can avail that yep students so do come we will have fun and definitely it will help you in uh, making your score better and that will definitely happen yeah high five okay let's start with the next question question number 6 for 3 marks let's try to do that this is not at all difficult when you see big questions these are the one that's easy only what's the special feature of the structure of c2h4 let's try to understand by making it and c2h2 so this is the formula of alkene this is the formula of alkyne i hope you are pretty much aware of the same we discussed that because here my hydrogen is double and here my hydrogen is double minus 2 okay 4 minus 2 that's 2 so let's try to do that here is two hydrogen whenever you try to draw the structure make sure that every carbon is making the four bond alkene means one uh, definitely will be a double bond alkyne means one definitely will be a triple bond between carbon and carbon and then you can write hydrogen accordingly so that every carbon will make four bond simple so what special feature that here we have one carbon carbon double bond and 1 2 3 4 four carbon hydrogen single bond but here we have one carbon carbon triple bond and 1 2 2 carbon hydrogen single bond this is my alkene this is my alkyne okay simple easy peasy pancake question what type of reaction is common to both these compounds why does methane not undergo this type of reaction okay this is something we did in the differentiation part of saturated and unsaturated this is when i talk about what reaction is common in between the two that this is something that belongs to the category of unsaturated hydrocarbons and they undergo addition reaction okay they undergo addition reactions and because there is a, the uh, these are reactive one and that double bond and triple bond can be broken down and addition is possible why methane can't do the same because methane is having all the four bond with hydrogen and that is less reactive i must say least reactive no bond is there in the plane so that that can be easily disrupted carbon's valency is already satisfied with the maximum bond formation that is four but here that is three here that is two every carbon is making two bond every carbon is making three bond uh three bond me i mean i'm talking about the total number of atoms that's attached so here that's already full so here only substitution is possible addition is not possible but here maximum bond formation can be four so bond can be disrupted and addition is possible simple now what's the iupac name of di methyl ether first of all you should know what exactly is ether we discussed that in the last se session also my ether is oxygen in between my alkyl chain okay just for a difference i am using r and r dash r is a representation of alkyl chain now di methyl ether is basically a common name that these alkyl group are methyl di methyl means two methyl i am using 
so this is nothing but ch3 c i mean o ch3 this is my dimethyl ether 2 methyl and this is ether because oxygen is there between the carbon chain and what will be its scientific name iupac name i have to count the carbon chain one and i can't say two because the chain is broken because oxygen is there in between so what will be what will we say one carbon's uh, hydrocarbon is there with this as a substituent or a functional group, OCH3. And how to name that? This is methyl with oxygen, so methoxy. That's the prefix that I'm going to use. This OR group will act as a prefix. So methoxy and then methane. Okay, because that's methane derivative. So scientific name is methoxy methane. Scientific name is methoxy methane. All right, you got it? Wonderful. Please see that video also because we already did that part. Yeah, okay, let's move to next question. Question number seven that says, draw the structural formula for compound with two carbon atom in each of the following. A, an alkene with a carbon-carbon single bond. Carbon-carbon single bond with two carbon atom and that must be alkene. So that is nothing but this carbon-carbon single bond and I need to draw two carbon alkane. So that's what it is. This is nothing but my ethane. If for two carbon, in for single bond. Alcohol containing two carbon atom, definitely. And alcohol ends with OH. So this is CH3. This is CH2 because carbon's valency must be satisfied. That's four. So name will be, this must be ethane, same only. It just hydrogen was replaced by OH. One of the hydrogen was replaced by OH. So CH3, CH2, OH. This is ethane derivative but ends with all. So ethanol because OH group came. Alcohol group came as a functional group. We did talk about functional group in the last video too. An unsaturated hydrocarbon with a carbon triple bond. Two carbon because that's what they asked with the triple bond. So this is what for valency satisfaction, 1,1 one, one hydrogen. This is my ethyly, uh, my uh, ethyne. Okay. If for two carbon, I'm for a triple bond. So this is my ethyne. All the parts are super duper clear students. Hope you got it. Thumbs up. High five. Yeah. Okay. Let's have this question. Write the balance chemical equation. Important question because you should know some of the reactions which are important and whatever I'm going to discuss here are the important ones only. The first part is when ethane reacts with chlorine. So this is my ethane, right? And I'm reacting it with chlorine, Cl2. And uh, my substitution reaction of halogen can only occur with alkanes when we put sunlight to the same or a very high temperature like around 800 degrees celsius so put temperature like uh, my 800 degrees celsius apart from that so by putting any of these conditions what will happen substitution can occur and hydrogen has to go so that chlorine can attack so one of the chlorine will facilitate this that I'll take the hydrogen and the other chlorine can attack on this free position that was something that was made. So this will be CH3 now and then CH2, right? Because that was CH3, CH3, ethane, CH2. Hydrogen was replaced by chlorine. So this, this is something that we got. From my ethane, what did we get? My ethane converted to chloroethane my halogens are the one that act as prefix means something that we give the name in very starting so chloro like hello sounds is generally that came so chloro and then ethane because that's ethane derivative chloroethane okay next is when ethane gas is treated with hcl so i had again my ethane gas you can also write in this way and uh, okay, I'll try to write it in the same way and I'll try to react with HCl, HCl. Let's do that. All right, yeah. And this won't be an addition reaction that hydrogen will attack here, chlorine here, because as you know, addition is not possible. There's no enough space for the same. So what will happen? Hydrogen is going to be taken by one more hydrogen and chlorine can attack here. So this product will be same only CH3, CH2, Cl. It just, apart from here, that was HCl that was released. 
here that is H2. Hydrogen gas is something that is going to be released. Hydrogen will take this hydrogen to give hydrogen gas and you will get a substituted product only that CH3, CH2, Cl, chloroethane. Yeah. The next part here is that is part number three. Ethane is bond in axis of oxygen. This is my ethane gas and I'm going to bond it in axis of oxygen. Burning is nothing but my combustion reaction. And you know that when hydrocarbon burns, we'll get CO2 gas and water vapor. So we get CO2 gas, we will get water vapor and we'll definitely get energy. And that's why we call it exothermic reaction and the energy we use generally in the form of fuel. Let's try to balance it. Here is two carbon. Here is two carbon. Carbon is balanced. Here is three hydrogen. Here is three hydrogen. Hydrogen is balanced. But oxygen two into two, four and three, seven. Seven oxygen. How can I make it seven oxygen? So if I write uh, seven by two, see, I, I say one oxygen molecule is having a two oxygen atom. So seven oxygen molecule will be having 14 oxygen atom, right? One oxygen molecule is having two atoms. Seven oxygen molecule will be having 14 oxygen atom. So what did I do? These seven oxygen molecule, whatever I had, I divided it by two so that I'm going to get 14 oxygen atom divided by two seven oxygen atom. So you can always write in this form, but you know that uh, writing your coefficient in terms of not so whole number is not a good idea. So just to remove that too, you can multiply the entire equation by two as well. So what will be the product? You will write the same equation as I'm writing it here. 2C2H6. I'm writing it here. 2C2H6 plus 2, 2 cancel. 7O2. 4CO2 and 6H2O. I just multiply the entire reaction by two. And we got the result. Okay. I hope you got it. Whatever I said, you can see it again as well. It's all your choice and all the answers are written here as well. So yes, make sure that you see that. Question number nine, write the following properties of ethene. I know these kind of questions are a bit boring than the previous one, but we should know that. When I talk about physical state, you know that ethene is a colorless gas and gas definitely. Order, if I talk about its order, it's faint, sweetish order. If you know that this ethene is my plant hormone also that releases those gases so that the food will be ripened. Tomatoes, bananas. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, so faint sweetish order and it's a colorless gas and inflammable also means it catches fire very easily. Just like my family of hydrocarbons because they can burn and we can use it as fuel. When I talk about density as compared to air, so density is comparatively lighter than air. Okay. Lighter than air. That's lighter than air. Solubility as my hydrocarbon, that's my organic compound C2H4, organic compounds and uh, so that's why like dissolve like that soluble in a better way in organic compounds only. Like dissolve like. So that will be pretty much soluble in organic compounds but when I talk about water, it will be soluble but little, very little soluble. Yeah. Okay, very little solubility with water, but very good solubility with your organic solvent. Okay, let's move ahead. Just like we have alcohol, we have chloroform and all. Yeah, let's have this question. Now we have this uh, reaction of, uh, you know, different, different uh, ethene reaction with different, different substances. Last time we had ethane. So let's do that. A part. Ethene is born in axis of oxygen. Oh, that's a good question. Something that we know already that my hydrocarbons burn in oxygen to give CO2 and water vapor. We can balance this reaction. Definitely energy will be released. Two carbon, two carbon. Four hydrogen, four hydrogen. Oxygen two into two, four and two, six. So you can write three here. Reaction is balanced as well. Combustion reaction. That's why we use hydrocarbons as fuel. Ethene with your chlorine. Why I'm showing in this way? Just to show that chlorination. Chlorination at high temperature. Because addition happens at high temperature when I talk about these substance. One chlorine will attack here and one chlorine will attack here. And the product I'm going to get is one Cl here with the CH2. And one Cl is here with the CH2. So I got dichloroethane. Dichloroethane. Why dichloroethane students? Because two chlorine at my 
two carbon. You can also say one two dichloroethane because ethane derivative now it had become or simply dichloroethane will also work. Now let's come to C part. Ethane is going to combine with hydrogen chloride that is HCl. So again, this is my ethane. And I am adding HCl and HCl is a gas. So we need a proper solvent so that it can mix into the same. You can take a bit of water and then slightly H positive, Cl negative. This is a polar substance. One on one carbon and one on the other carbon. So I'm going to get CH3, CH2, Cl. My ethene converted to chloroethane. My ethene converted to chloroethane. Now let's move to the last part that is D part. A mixture of ethene and hydrogen. This is something we already did. My ethene reacted with hydrogen at in the presence of nickel and the temperature is 200 degrees Celsius. You know that catalyst and the condition required we always put on the arrow. So that is def definitely hydrogenation reaction and I'm going to get CH3 and CH3 ethane. So my ethene got converted to ethane with this reaction. Is it super clear students? I hope that is not at all difficult because we did some of the reaction already. And ethene's reaction, alkene's reaction are important. So please do these questions properly and you can revise it accordingly as many times as you want. So tell me, is this clear? How would I know that answer is written here? And you can always tell me in the comment section that you got it and how is this session? I'll wait for your comments. Yep, students. So organic chemistry, these topics in the last class and these topics in this class is totally over with the most important questions. I hope you will follow it properly. Don't forget to do your homework. Do this. What are the uses of ethane and ethane? You can tell me two, two uses at least. I will wait for your comments and would be very happy to see all your comments because that's the kind of appreciation you're showing. And let's try to make this uh, series ICSC 10 series super duper hit because spread definitely is having that motive that can do the maximum help to you guys. Okay, students. So organic chemistry, this session is done to Narden. Last session happened on 25th Feb. Please see if you had not seen till now. Do not forget to come and see all the sessions at Vedantu's own platform with 50% discount right now. Link in the description box and pin comment. The same course that you are getting for 2699 right now with 50% of you just getting in 1349.5 rupees. If you apply AGE Pro Code, so come and attend all the classes. Will be super fun in as low as 6.7 rupees, lesser than your party pack. So come and let's have our party, party here. <laughs> okay, students, thank you so much for staying till the end. And uh, do like, share, and subscribe. Reach out to me. This is my email ID. In case of uh, uh, any requirement, any help. I'll meet you next time with some more important videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, take care. Happy learning, my students.